Hey everyone, welcome back to the Dabbler's Den. Uh, this is Chris Cottrell, and this is part two of the Delmarva Conundrum, a Michael Davies story. And, and I titled that because Michael Davies definitely deserves the, uh, the credit. Uh, you know, he's put in a lot of work on these Carolina Bays over a long time. I'm going to demonstrate some of that here in just a few minutes. Um, and, and just as science goes, you know, uh, I don't necessarily agree with everything. Uh, obviously, the timeline here is something that I disagree with Michael about. Um, which is fine. That's science. And uh, again, at the end of the day, everyone so far has been able to shake hands and high five. And, and um, you know, it, that's what makes it fun. And I, that's why I've kind of enjoyed doing this. Um, anyways, again, we don't agree in the timeline. Macadavius is going back 800,000 years uh, for the formation of these Carolina Bays. I'm more in the camp where I think that this happened around the Younger Dryas onset. Um, and, and I think I may have found a way to kind of help help understand that, um, or to at least help, um, uh, visualize it. And, but it, it came about a very interesting way and it's kind of an interesting story. And it's one of the reasons why I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so anyways, uh, I called the Delmarva conundrum because I found something here that I didn't expect. Um, I went, when I first read the, um, the Facebook post from Michael, uh, with that, again, that 800,000 year timeline, um, I remember putting together my most re recent video on the uh, Chesapeake Bay area. And I remember this, uh, this stretch of bays right here that, um, that I talked about in that video. And again, I thought for sure that this area would have been completely under the ocean, uh, just 115,000 years ago. Uh, but when I came and looked at it under the LIDAR, I noticed that I, I was wrong about that. Uh, and this whole area, you know, this, this stretch that you see right here, is all over 30 feet and the last time the sea level rose higher than it is today it rose up to 30 feet higher nine meters higher than where we are today and we find bays above 30 feet in this area i did not find any bays and so again that really got me scratching my head i contacted antonio zamora i said hey man what's going on here you know if uh you know if if there's no base here and there are base up here that puts the timing above 125,000 years, uh, because basically I'm saying that the ocean would have came in and wiped that slate clean, and uh, we wouldn't have had uh, any more bays there. Uh, by the way, all of these dots that you see here, um, these are uh, Carolina bays that Michael Davies has gone in, and every single one of these dots, he's gone in manually and, uh, and, and put in uh, one of these overlays um, to outline the Carolina Bay. Again, hands down michael davius is the man when it comes to these carolina bays um and the mapping of them he has just done a fantastic job but i'm going to go and turn off of the turn this off and go back to the uh, 10 meter images just because it's easier to move around that way um so let me click that give me just a second i need to turn this back on and turn these back off uh i am definitely getting better and better at this whole uh google earth mapping thing. Um, so we'll let that give that a chance to catch up. Now, the first thing I noticed um, as I was looking at that is that there are groupings of bays. I started to move farther up the coast uh, and I did find groupings of bays, very well-defined groupings of bays um, in an area that they shouldn't be uh, because it would have been under the ocean 115, 130,000 years ago. Uh, and so I started looking at these very well formed and I was like, you know, okay, so now we're finding bays that, that shouldn't be here if this was older than 115,000 years. Um, uh, I started to feel a little better about that. Um, and again, there, th now this is in an area that is lower. It was under the ocean. There's less sediment there. So the bays do have a slight asymmetry to them. Um, they are a little bit different, uh, but we do find groupings there. And then on the other side, oh, and you can see this grouping here again, which is uh, now, and let me click off real fast so you can see where we're at. Uh, this is land. I mean, this is uh, very low-lying land here in Maryland. Um, but it's, you know, we, we still see Carolina bays that are, have very well-formed rims. Now, Michael Davies thinks that these bays, uh, you know, they're so well-formed um, that they would withstand the test of time and, uh, you know, they would continue to maintain their shape as the oceans rose and fell uh, over that 100,000 years. So, you know, I, I do want to make sure that I include that, that he does feel that these um, these Carolina bays would maintain their shape over a long period of time. I, I don't think, I, to me, they're unconsolidated sediment. 
the oceans coming in and out would wipe them clean. Um, but that's again another another area where we we have a difference. Um, then I noticed these islands that are out here in the middle of the Chesapeake. Uh, and I noticed, and I apologize, I, I don't have the greatest light on here now, but I noticed all of these stream channels, braided stream channels, just like I talked about in some of my earlier videos, um, indicating very, very, very rapid moving water. And remember, at the end of the Ice Age, uh, and especially if this event took place in Saginaw Bay, there would have been an extremely rapid amount of melting glacial water um, instantly. And then you have all of the ice that would have been laying on top of this portion of North America, you know, like up to two feet of ice over everything, everything, uh, would have started to melt at some point. And as that water started to melt, it would have flowed downhill, uh, eroding away huge channels, um, huge floodplains. And, uh, that's exactly what I noticed. So we see here these huge river channels, um, you know, that contain water now, because keep in mind that, you know, 12,000 years ago, we were in an ice age and all of this would have been dry land. There was probably a river that ran through here and some streams that ran through here. Um, but the coastline was way out here. You know, it was, it was a good bit farther than it is today. And all of this water, this would have basically been a, a shallow valley of about, uh, what's about 30, 40 feet lower than it is today. Uh, and it just would have filled up with water with all of these stream channels basically pointing to the location that I was looking at that has the bays erased. Uh, and so that's what I think happens. Um, I, I still, I'm going to, I'm going to continue to say that this at the very least is less than 115,000 years. The last time our, um, global war, you know, our, the temperatures on the, the earth warmed and we had higher sea levels. Um, and that, again, if we start looking at extinction events and things like that, um, I, I just, I have to go back to that younger driest boundary area, um, as being the most probable time. Um, there was a lot, a lot happened and I think this was a big part of it. And, and there's more and more evidence coming out every day to support that. Uh, and I, and I truly hope that, uh, we could start to, to investigate this a little bit farther, but, uh, yeah, that's what I think happened here. Um, the reason why we don't, and, and again, I think, and you can actually see these, you can see how, how straight this shoreline is. Um, and this is just like I was talking about before with the, uh, with the riverbanks, you know, over time, that's not necessarily what we would see. Um, but if you have a tremendous amount of water flowing through there, you're going to have very straight and, and they're going to drop off very quickly. And that's exactly what we see here. Um, and so, and, you know, again, I think that we had a tremendous amount of water right at the end of the ice age flowing right through here, uh, and out into the ocean and taking everything in its way with it. Uh, so this would have been a serious, uh, serious day, a <laughs> uh, couple weeks at least. And, um, and that's where I'm at with it now, guys. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Um, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Feel free to send me an email. Uh, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.